Hello and welcome. I'm glad that you have joined me again. In this video, we are going to host a WordPress website using container technology that is Docker. Is another one called Portman, but for this video, we are going to use Docker. So we are going to put WordPress in one Docker container and MySQL database in another Docker container and at the same time configure our Docker network such that the WordPress and the database are able to interact for the website to operate optimally. Let's get started. This is my personal website where I post a lot of articles mostly to do with container technology. The website is hosted on Docker and we are going to use a similar approach. I recorded the process when I was hosting this website up to the point where I created a WordPress website and hosted it on Docker. The website has a blog which I'm calling TechPoint. It has docs. This is documentation page where you can find a lot of uh, documentations on various things. This video will take you to a point where you set up your WordPress website such that your website is online and then maybe in another video in the future we can start configuring a website like this. So I'm going to take you up to the point where this website goes live online and this includes setting up the SSL certificate and all that. When it comes to cloud hosting uh, you have to make the right decision right from the beginning. For this particular session we are going to see how we can set up cloud hosting using Linode and host a WordPress website for our blogging or business needs. I will leave all links to any external resources that I'll be using in this video in the description section. Just go there and uh, look for the link that is associated to any section of the video. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid uh, the major players in cloud computing, that is Google Cloud Platform, Amazon AWS, and uh, Microsoft Azure, because those services sometimes can become very expensive. As your cloud hosting needs increase, the costs also go high. But uh, we have some options that are charged on a monthly basis, uh, and I'm just going to look at three of those options. Uh, the first one is uh, Linode.com. Linode.com charges you $5 per month. They will give you a virtual private server. It's up to you to decide what kind of uh, operating system that you will install in that server. Most of the time Linux is preferred over the others. I've tried this and I'm, I'm able to host three WordPress websites and a container management platform and a proxy manager. Those are about five applications. So if you just want a basic website for your own use, this is more preferred over the traditional way of hosting where you use uh, shared hosting. Uh, if you don't like Linode because of the name or anything else, you can also go to DigitalOcean. The similar package is uh, this one and it's costing $6 because this is half this. So their $6 package is the one that you buy at $5 uh, at Linode. Then we have Vatra. For this one you can go with also the $5 because this is the one that is consistent with Linode. So uh, by spending about $5 to $6 per month you'll be able to have a cloud account that you can do all the things that you want to do. I've already created an account with Linode for the sessions that you are going to do uh, in the next few videos. This is my main hosting server that I use for all my uses but I'm going to create a separate uh, Linode for these sessions. If you use the link at the description section you are going to get $100 to use for the first two months. And this means that you can try as many services as you want without incurring any cost and this is going to be very useful for the sessions that you're going to go through in this series so go ahead create your account and let's meet back in a few seconds so that I can take you through the steps that you need to take to have your website on the cloud
so when you create your Linode account and login you're going to come to this screen uh, in my case I already have one Linode or one virtual private server created uh, I'm going to show you how you can create your own so you go to create Linode and because we don't want to just create a server we are doing this for the sake of docker we can go to marketplaces and then we s we type docker here docker and we are going to install the docker container so we are installing the operating system plus the docker container together select docker nothing is going to happen uh, so you need to scroll down you close the advanced options here uh, and then you select the image of your of your operating system in this case uh, we would prefer maybe to use ubuntu let's say ubuntu 20.04 uh, latest select the region that is near you the region that is near me is sydney uh, then from here you come to shared cpu from shared cpu you can go for the five dollar per month package but just know that this is for very basic uses if you're doing this for a business that is going to attract a lot of traffic or for a heavy application uh, you can start with five but you increase based on the responsiveness of the application or website that you have created there is an option to upgrade uh, without having to interfere with uh, your configurations so you just upgrade to whatever is going to work for you at that particular time so you don't need to worry about the package that you choose for now as long as it can accommodate what you're going to start with you can always upgrade it later so we are selecting the nano gb of five uh, dollars and here we are going to give this uh, label a name i can give a name of the domain that have i have acquired for this uh, particular course uh, then you don't need to add any tag then you can select the, the root password you just create a password that you're going to remember and because we are not going to access rem remotely at the moment we can create the SSH key later but for now just leave it as, as it is without selecting anything uh, so if you have an SSH key you can come here add and you paste it here give it a name and paste it here if you don't have you can uh, skip and I'm going to show you later how you can do that uh, we don't need to attach any VLANs uh, if this is for your business use or, or for any other major use you may need to back up at two dollar per month this is on top of the cost of the plan that you have seen is five dollars eh? So I'm, I will not select a backup. Uh, I'll just uh, select the option of IP address. And we are going to see why we need the IP addresses. They are very important when you're doing Docker containers. As you can see, we have Ubuntu location near us, the Nano GB of $5 per month, and we are going to get private IDs. From there, you can just uh, create, but uh, let's just scroll to see that we have done the right thing. Yes, we have Docker installed. So we are going to create the, the Linode, give it some time, to provision. What you can see here projected is the IP address. And you can see if you have SSH created, you'll be able to access it using SSH. So SSH, this, if you go like, let's say you copy this, you go to your computer terminal. So you need to go to CD, the directory where you have put your SSH key. The SSH key will have an extension of .pem, so you need to go to that directory, and then when you are there, you can run this command and you'll be able to access uh, your server remotely, but we can do that in another session, not this one. Our server is now running. We can test this by coming here and launch LISH console, give it a few minutes to update everything. As you can see, we are presented with a place where we can log in. So you just type root as the username and then the password that we just created. Enter. Oh, good. Clear. 
if you do docker ps because we have installed docker you're going to see it doesn't have any containers if you do docker hyphen hyphen version you're going to see the version of docker that we have installed with the ubuntu uh, linux operating system and uh, just like that we have docker running in the cloud and now we are ready to start uh, creating containers and everything else that we can do with docker in the next video i'm going to show you how we can install a uh, reverse proxy manager so that we can point an ip address or as many ip addresses uh, to our docker containers such that uh, if you have installed maybe an application in the container you can access it with that domain name instead of uh, an ip address that's it for now uh, let's catch up in the next video if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe and also remember to activate the notification button